We are getting ready to board for our tour. The Spirit of Adventure boat. There's our boat. We're going to get on Spirit of Adventure. Major Marine Tour. Are you ready to take this cruise? Are you ready to take this cruise? What? You don't know? You're not sure? All the wildlife that says you can see, you don't know if you want to go? It's at Sand Lake. You're not sure you want to eat, huh? I'm going to go Yeah. How long is it, Chris? We have a table on the cruise. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. You are on vacation. Oh my gosh. I know people are like, what are you guys all going to do? I'm like, I'm, I mean, we're going down to Seward and that's about all I can tell you. You go do half the pass, which is pretty on oh, one of those nice days. Yeah. <laughs> The problem when Odie and Percy run wild is that Odie can just tackle oh, Percy and Percy looks right. terrified. Jackets for everyone. We're Captain moving. Here. They're all the way forward of the cabinet on the first and the second deck. We also have pirate fighting equipment all around the vessel. And orange light rings on all of the outer decks. Now we have one rule above all others today, and that is to stay on the boat. It is cold, frigid water up here in Alaska. Don't get off the boat. The water's river. cold. I know. <laughs> now if someone does end up in the water, that's a very serious situation that we need to know about. So yell, scream and shout, get our attention, don't keep your eyes off that person, and throw one of those orange life rings into the water after them. If you can't find a life ring, anything else that may float is also helpful, as it gives us a trail back to the person in the water, so we can turn around and get them back on board quickly.
They gave seasick warnings this morning. They were like, if you get seasick, take medication now before we left. So the waters are rough. imaginary line that makes us a thousand acres of each western floor. It was established in 1979 as a national monument of the administration and then a year later, 1980, giving the full fundings and protections that we associate with major national parks.
So there are three species of puffins on this planet, which we don't have the Atlantic puffin here. There are two species in the North Pacific. The horn puffin, like these, with the white bellies, the little brownish faces. And there's a tufted puffin that we sometimes see a little bit further out. Horn puffins floating all around the boat now. You can stand up here for me. I think, yeah. Puffins like to nest on cliffs and islands. You can see they get either one they want here, like both. Why do they do such a thing? Well, of course, it's protection from predators, not just for the puffins, but for their eggs. Things like wolverines, short-tailed weasels aren't going to be able to get them here. Why don't all birds do this? Well, for one thing, puffin is a true seabird, and a puffin doesn't need any fresh water. There's not a lot of fresh water here when it doesn't rain. The puffin has little salt glands on its face with excrete salt. I'm sitting in the water here at the 11 o'clock position. We're trying to get a good look binoculars of the, the face of a puffin. Uh, just dope down.
it got us on well watch. And the problem with behavior of the hunchback is very different than the behavior of the other. Occasionally seeing the tail, and we're occasionally seeing the pectoral fins. Those are the long side fins. Most, if not all, cetaceans have pectoral fins, but the humpback whale is unique in the length of their pectoral fins. Oh, I saw it come up. I got you on my way. I think we will be in the There are several kinds of animals in the last of the These are not sheep. These are folks. We went to the folks, particularly to North America. They said no. Around the Northern Rockies. And this coastal range that spans nearly 
from Seattle to Keymouth. What's interesting is where they're not. You won't see mountain goats in the Alaska Range up near Denali. You won't see them in the Aleutians either. We found kind of a tough little spot here. Hiding spot. Make sure it's deep enough to go here. It's 165 feet deep here. We'll go a little bit. ちょっと見てみましょう。ちょっと見てみましょう。ちょっと見てみましょう。ちょっと見てみましょう。ちょっと見てみましょう。ちょっと見てみましょう。ちょっと見てみましょう。ちょっと見てみましょう。ちょっ
We don't need any Titanic. So this glacier is named Colgate Glacier because Northwestern University was here in 1909 during the Manchester of this coastline. And they had the foresight to take photographs in 1909. We have those on the binoculars table, and there's another binder with other time-stamped glacier photographs. We have another glacier in view now, off to the left, the 10 o'clock position, which is really funny. You can call that one Little Holgate Glacier if you want. In 1909, the Little Holgate Glacier was a part of the We left it as one of the guys the beach in 1909, according to those photographs. Start to take photographs. In 1909, we have those on the binoculars table, and there's another binder of other time stamped glacier photographs. We have another glacier in view now, off to the left, 10 o'clock position, very blue. You can call that one Little Holgate Glacier if you want. In 1909, what was the Glacier was thicker. In fact, it was all the way down to the beach in 1909.
What happened? I don't know, I feel like it's Titanic. How they get there? Yeah, they get dropped off and stay here. Study. They probably They probably watch this. Underneath the earthquake, everything is. He said there was something about a small earthquake yesterday or something. It's so amazing. <laughs> yeah, you can see. It's almost on me. I really hungry. Yeah. There, there's no other thing like that. Yeah. 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 I'm going to arm.
I wish I could get it to splash. Oh, it's, it's cracking. I can see it cracking. God, look how far it goes up with it. down the Dude, that's so cool. The things are big too. <laughs> oh, 
on the chili tail. They're just relaxing there. And they're just chilling there. Not really swimming or nothing, just sitting there.
humpback whales are 45 feet long, if they're males. Females, though, 55 to 60 feet long. What a ton, so we're talking about 50 ton animals here just off our stern. Probably diving. Ah. Right, we're getting another view of these stellar sea lions as we poke out around this rock here. We've got Cape Ialic straight in front of us, about half a mile. So even though it's really calm here, nestled behind the main island, this is about to be the roughest portion, so I want to make sure you are ready as we poke our nose out here.